Hi there, I hope you have a lovely day. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tana. So today I have the update for the project. It's Penny Cats and Dogs round number two. And this is a project created by Debbie as well as Danny from Danny's Makeup. It started last month on October 22nd and it goes until next year, October 22nd. So it's a year long project and it's a rolling style project. Um, you can roll in as many products as you want. Uh, I did, uh, I believe now, six products uh, in the intro and I'm going to show you what I have you know rolled in and how I progressed with these products now let me get started with the first one that was number three Beagle scent hound scented item and uh, I picked actually this little guy here from Kiko Milano this is uh, the baked eyeshadow from the unexpected paradise line and this is the light of Venus uh, as you can see it's a very nice golden highlighter and I don't know if you can see it here actually I was rubbing always my finger here along you know not to destroy the uh, um, how can I say embossing and uh, yeah it ca I kind of flattened it out I wanted to use it 20 times I used it 20 times therefore this one is rolling out happy about that then I had number eight cat litter something that makes a mess um i picked for that actually this little guy here this uh is a yellow eyeshadow that i frankened you know and i wanted to use it also 20 times i used it 20 times therefore this one rolls out as well um i'm i think so i did yeah i didn't say i want to use it up here i i think i wanted to use it 20 times i used it 20 times it's gone so now the next item is or the next prompt is uh number 18 and that was for litter box an item you wish your cat would bury in their litter box <laughs> yeah my favorite two little guys here these red lipsticks from juvia's place um i have them on my lips you know they are not drying down etc etc so it's always the same story with these lips you know uh, lipsticks liquid lipsticks they are beautiful but they are a mess to work with, so I would not mind if Fiona, my cat, would bury them. Um, I wanted to use each of them 10 times. I have not used them 10 times each. I use them, I believe, eight times now together, so uh, meaning four times each. So, um, yeah, still need to use them. Therefore, this one still stays in the project. Um, then number eight. Well, uh, num sorry, number 20. Number 20, the next, was for poop bag, something you always run out of at the worst time. And there, there I actually picked this little guy. This is uh, Zoeva's um, Graphic Eyes Pencil, you know, eyeliner in the shade After the Disco, because unfortunately these guys uh, were, are not available anymore. They are discontinued, but they are lovely in that sense that they have really nice you know colors or in that line they had really nice colors so on now on Zoeva's website they don't have it anymore or not the same color so yeah it's a pity that they have discontinued these little guys but um for your info i wanted to use it 20 times i used it 20 times therefore this one rolls out now then number 26 was sharpie a skincare product that combats wrinkles now i put in this little guy from paula's choice this is a Resist normal to dry upon what is it skin restoring moisturizer fighting anti-aging so to say with antioxidants SPF 50 um, I wanted to use it up um, As you can see it's still full, but I brought it with me to the UK and used quite a bit So therefore, you know um, If I would try to you know press out the air bubble I think you would see that it's really getting flatter and flatter here. So I'm just so showing it to you now so I used it the whole week now so this one still remains in the project therefore right now let's see what else do i have here the as the last prompt i have that bills an ex expensive item and there i put in this little guy from hourglass um let me show it to you hourglass uh, mood exposure blush you know um, I've been using it as a finishing powder. Wanted to use it 20 times. I used it 20 times, therefore this one rolls out. Okay, so quite successful month for me because we used it, what is it? 
I used it. Uh, I rolled out now four items. I need to roll in uh, four new items. Let's put that number into the pretty random app. Where do I have it now? So there. Uh, apropos, I didn't mention that, but we are working on thirty prompts. So yeah, I need to put it actually. There are some on the back additional prompts, if I'm not mistaken. No, not any uh, one additional prompt, but not all. So anyway, so let's do it. Like because I finished number thirty, I can put in number twenty nine for the highest number, and let's see what will come. Number eleven. So number eleven. Then next. Number 17, didn't have that one before. Number 21, and one more. And number 25. So I will just make a break here and pick the products that I think will suit these prompts, and then I see you after the break, and I will also read out the prompts. Hi there, I am back with the products for the project It's Pan and Cats and Dogs and I will show you what I have picked so far. So for number 11, that was Chihuahua, a product that the, that the beauty community can't stop yapping about. I thought these days, you know, I'm not watching really the big YouTubers so I cannot say what they are yapping about, but the ones that I'm actually, you know, watching um, are really, how can I say, focusing a lot about or focusing a lot on um, you know indie brands but um, maybe this one is not an indie brand anymore because it is almost everywhere this is glam light the street taco palette and I thought you know what uh, I would say indie brands in general so maybe it's you say you don't agree with my explanation but I would say glam light uh, street taco palette definitely um, taco palette why not use this little guy let's say five times or 15 times yeah so then to have some work with that now uh number 17 was labrador a golden retriever hunting dogs a product that you had to uh, had to hunt down or was hard to find so um yeah for the ones who are living in, in the us of course wet and wild is a very prominent um you know drugstore brand but um it took some time let's say or several years actually until they came to europe uh, of course they first came to the uk i believe you know so uh, feel unique or look fantastic at them uh, but i think i told you once i had the chance you know to go to antwerp in belgium and then in one of the little ran you know small stores there i found uh, wet and white palettes several of them i was like oh I get them for one euro a piece was you know one euro uh, was cheap so I have this little guy here um, there were five shades in it you as you can see they are free um, gone already so there are only two left and um, would love to work a little bit more on this palette this is the wet and white color icon in floral values um, why not use this little guy also 15 times yeah floral values 15 times then for number 21, Poodle, a product that makes you feel high maintenance, a bougie item in your collection. Okay, I have to admit, I kind of splurged uh, back in the day when I indiscriminately bought makeup. I was like, okay, let me buy this, let me buy that, all the whole collection, etc., etc. So I got a lot of these, you know, hourglass um, blushes, uh, you know, and they are quite expensive, I think 40 euros or something like that a piece, maybe even more on some websites. And um, I would say this is a very bougie item for, you know, so um, yeah, why not use this little guy, the Mood Exposure Palette again for another 20, you know, times because I'm using it anyways. So I thought, you know, keeping it in one or two projects, I don't mind either. So. Then number 25, service, emotional support, animal, loyal, a product that never lets you down. I think I'm quite lucky with primers, you know. Um, I don't mind using primers, so in that sense, 
I, if I don't have a high expectation about the primer, I cannot be disappointed. I know that some people are like, a primer has to do this, has to do that, etc., etc. Of course, it has to do some things, but um, yeah, I'm I'm okay with primers. So I would say, you know what, that doesn't let me down as a foundation. You know, when it reacts with or oxidizes, uh, primer is just you know you put it on, slap it on, it uh, kind of absorbs in the skin, and that's it. You know, so um, if you have of course mattifying primer on, it's another story etc etc um but this one here locket foundation uh, locket of have a feather weight uh primer from cat Von D. as you can see it is quite um used in that sense you know i would love to use it up so kvd primer use up so that's one goal i'm not sure if i put it already in another project if so i don't care it will be used also in this project so Anyway, this was my little update for the It's Planning Cats and Dogs. I hope you enjoyed it. i see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.